really earned their spot here. And, uh, you know, they really know how to play their decks because otherwise they wouldn't be here. So, on the right, Craig Cohen. On the left, Sam Oransky. Yep. There are minor differences in the list. Sam Oransky on the left. He has the full four Restoration Angels. Craig Cohen, only three. They both have the full four Geyser St. Traft. Sam has a main deck image. If you'll notice, you'll see one of the decks has a main deck surgical extraction. Oh, wow. That is Sam Oransky on your left. How about that? Now, that, that's not a card that's seen a lot of play recently, mostly because uh, there haven't been many graveyard decks recently. Right. Craig going down to six cards here. So Craig's deck features three swords, two War and Peace, one Feast and Famine. Sam's only two, one of each. Uh, Sam's deck one Timely, the one Surgical like we talked about. And here they go. Turn one Delver from Craig. And Sam has turn one Ponder. Local hero Larry Swayze was uh, hoping to have an opportunity to be under the camera with his version of Delver, but uh, unfortunately our, our mean directors wanted to have other local players have a chance. Right. Larry has been under the lights, I think, every major event out in this area of the country. Craig, Ooh. natural flip of the Delver, wow. turn two. With Vapor Snag, too. It's the card that he doesn't, well, the card that Sam wants to see least, I would say. <clears throat> so life total 17 to 20. And we'll see what Craig has for his turn two. The Bucket Island from Craig. Oh my goodness, no second land. Remember, wow. Craig did mulligan this. So he kept a one lander. Now I think it's safe to say he has two Vapor Snags now. Thought Scour main phase for Sam. It could be that Sam is looking for a second land. Ooh, I see no other reason for the main phase Thought Scour. I mean, maybe finding a better land maybe. for turn two if he's got no, no two drop. Um, and Glacial Fortress. On the other side, Craig draws his second land. We're going to see probably a snag here. And if that's a leak, Craig is going to be pretty happy, I think. Or, of course, alternately, Craig can hold up the leak in favor of protecting against, say, a Geist. Right. But uh, he protects the in-play Delver. Sam drops to 14. Now, it's really interesting that Sam waited till Craig's turn to do that because if you wanted it to resolve, he could have done it during the upkeep yep. or during his turn. Maybe and now, trying to bait out a lead. Yeah, and maybe this could be the Geist. Geist advantage is one of the um, planes of conflict for these mat for this matchup. Yeah, oftentimes in game one especially. There's the Geist. Two different styles of play. Sam rocking at old school, lands in front of creatures. Craig rocking at new school, creatures in front of lands. Yeah. Another Bucket Island for Craig, off the top, swings for three, brings Sam to 11. A we'll sword, perhaps. Oh, wow. Feast and Famine. Not as good as War and Peace would be right now, but he'll still take it. I didn't see much of Sam Aransky's hand except for a Ponder. Yeah, I, I know he has a, a Feast and Famine of his own. I doubt we'll see him playing that this turn. That'll be pretty low on his priority list. First things first, Ponder. Yep. Showing Ooh. Leak, Angel, Land. It wow. looks like a Seacrum Coast. Those are three great cards. I can't imagine seeing him ship it unless he's looking for something really particular like, uh, like a Vapor Snag, maybe, or a Snapcaster. We'll see, though. Ship, ship, ship. He's looking for something specific. Wow. He must be worried about that Delver. Uh, no. Well, I don't think he has a snag. Yeah, he must I, I think that he's expecting that Feast and Famine Delver to hit him for five, knocking him to six, which basically puts him one Vapor Snag away from death. Right. <clears throat> and uh, if, if Sam somehow misses here, no Snapcaster, no Vapor Snag, no Dismember... Craig's going to have free reign. In for six. So life total, Sam 11, Craig 14. Three and mana. a sword of his own. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to take the hit. An amazing opportunity here for Craig. We'll 
see how he plays it. Starts with a ponder. Ponder, good start. He's going to be able to use all of his mana. Oh, and I see a vapor snag there. That'll be great on the angel token. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Adrian Sullivan. I'm joined here by Zach Hall. This is round 10 of 10 here at the Star City Games Open Series. A t a equip and attack. Hit, take five, untap, and discard. The white mana is suddenly available. I think we're going to see a Geist for the Geist. There it is. And he might even have the Vapor Snag in hand, if not on top of his library. He does. It's in his hand right now. So Craig Cohen in a commanding position. One Insectile hit away. Now Sam can stall for a few turns with that Moreland Haunt, or so he thinks. We will see. Sam contemplating his turn. Three mana. Yeah, clearly in a pretty rough spot here. Main Ooh. deck timely. The one timely in the deck. That's really, really big right now. That's six life and the body means that he actually can do both of the things he needs to have happen here. The life gain that's actually very real and then have a, somebody to carry a sword. Right. That's one main of, one in the main deck for Sam. The Vapor Snag takes care of that equipped creature. But Sam's at 12. N Ooh. And... Uh, Oh, no, so now same, 11. Same 11 yeah. This does represent a three-turn clock still, though, for, for Craig, because he can only deal five and then five, keeping his opponent at one. One, obviously, very precarious. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused why Craig Vapor snagged there. He could wait. Yeah. Wait until the attack goes oh, up. Oh, wow. Another one. I still... Yeah, it seems like that's just letting your opponent get a free hit in with that sword. Maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe he has a Restoration Angel as his last card. That would make sense. Craig now at five. Sorry, Sam now at five. Only one card left for Craig. Wow. And I don't think he's given us a glimpse of it yet. And Sam thinks better about his tapping so he can keep <laughs> the Moreland Hunt open. Equip. And Attack. It'll come in. Angel. I have to imagine this is an angel. I can't understand Craig's play if it's not. Snapcaster. Oh, okay. Snapcaster. It's not terrible. That makes sense. And uh, does he have a mana leak? I don't think so. Nope. Vapor snag. Ouch. Brings him to four. That is Craig's hand. Craig is out of cards. Sam does have a Moreland Haunt. Yep, that'll buy him a few turns. Ooh, what's he got? He's thinking. Yeah, I think he I think he has to leave up Moreland Haunt here. Unless he has something like Snapcaster into Vapor Snag. Says go. Fans out his graveyard. A little bit of a tell that he might have a Snapcaster name. Oh, Craig asked him. Craig, okay. Craig asked him. So Equipping now, on the Snapcaster. Yep, definitely like that play. That way a token won't trade with either creature. And Sam will fall to one. Meaning any Vapor Snag... Any Snapcaster Mage. Ooh, Sam has other plans. Snap. I think Craig has a land in hand. We're going to see a Vapor Snag here, I think. Yeah, maybe a Vapor Snag and then a Chump Lock. Which do you bounce here? That's the question. I like blocking the insect. Oh, it has flying, though. 
I think I think he has to. He has to vapor snag the insect. I don't have a problem with that. As, yeah, I, I don't. Th I think he'd rather vapor snag the other one. Well, I mean, vapor snagging a snapcaster is pretty rough. It is. It is. But the fact that it has flying, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if he can crawl out of this here. Sam Moransky on your left there, deep in the tank, trying to figure out a way to win this game. His opponent's still at 14 life. One of the things, you know, this he wants to be able to attack with his, his Snapcaster, but it's not really going to be likely that he can get away with that. No, I don't You know, think so. his life total is, total is too low, and he has to stop the Snapcaster from hitting him. Oh, wow, he is going to go to one. Wow. So, take three, go to one. Snapcaster for the kill. Yeah, and he had the extra land. I mean, if he doesn't have the land... Oh, he still has a gut shot in him? Or in the graveyard, was there a gut shot or not a gut shot? Um, I think... I don't know if there was, but... There was um, definitely a, sna a vapor snag. I think there was a gut shot in Sam's graveyard. Okay, that was okay. Him. Because what Sam was hoping for there with that particular vapor snag bounce is if he can equip the Sword of Feast and Famine to his Snapcaster Mage and then come on over, then that ability to untap, like if he has a, you know, like a Vapor Snag to get something out of the way, right. it, can, it can actually make him cascade into a potential set of victories by activating the, um, the Moreland Haunt twice. But I really don't think he had that kind of luxury, honestly. Well, with his play, it let him... Pray that Craig didn't draw land, and if he didn't, Sam could equip the sword, attack, make him discard that Snapcaster Mage, or really, rather, make him flash it in as, as an Ambush Viper. Um, and then Sam might have some outs if he draws something like a Vapor Snag for his turn. Maybe a long shot to win, but he took a line that would let him win if, if everything went right. And uh, I think that... Craig and Sam are in some way interacting with the judges or a spectator. Um, not sure exactly what's going on there. No, we will find out for you, though. So looking to the sideboards. Oh. Wow. So they just drew. They intentionally drew. Is that 